My name is Ian Reynolds. I'm a charter building surveyor. I'm a director of Huston Reynolds Limited, and uh, we specialize in rural planning and design. It was back in 2015 that the University of Nottingham approached us um, to design, um, if you like, um, updated extension to the existing farm at Sutton Bonington, their campus, um, which is their sort of um, natural sciences campus um, near Kegworth. We designed their original farm there on a greenfield site in 2002. Dairy buildings in particular are quite involved in terms of design requirements. There was a steering group as part of the university, which was a group of academics, estates department, and ourselves putting together ideas so that we'd put together basically one of the best dairy building centres in the country, um, which would basically showcase innovation and the way forward for the dairy industry as well as increasing the herd size to about 360 milking cows. We decided to go for a robotic milking system. Very early on, the academics wanted a sand-based cubicle system, which is the most animal-friendly system. They always quite liked the idea of slatted floors, so it was the first dairy farm in the UK, to our knowledge, that had slatted floors and sand. All of those things sort of came together. We wanted extremely high internal environmental conditions, very high quality conditions. Um, so we went for a 22 and a half degree roof pitch, big single span buildings. And of course, the first thing we wanted to do was make sure that within the building, it was extremely hygienic, uh, which the sand bedded cubicles helped with, but also obviously galvanizing everything, basically metal in the building would produce a clean and hygienic surface which wouldn't deteriorate against the sort of backdrop of having to clean those surfaces with lots of different types of disinfecting chemicals. It, it, everything is basically hot dick galvanized. Um, there are lots of surfaces so there are the cubicle divisions if you like where the cows live most of the time. The main steelwork itself is all galvanized um, so that the internal environment is protected. So it produces a really crisp, hygienic finish internally, which a lot of people have said looks almost like a sort of cathedral quality finish. And of course, the main viewing gallery as well and observation gantry are all galvanized at high level. Yeah, there's an awful lot of galvanizing in, in the project, full stop. Uh, with, without any nutritional changes, the uh, increase in milk yield has been quite staggering because of the new environmental conditions and noticeably the behaviour of the animals and how calm and laid back they are in effect in their new surroundings.